Welcome to the Banff Springs Hotel, the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. And I'm Jason. I used to work here way back many years ago and I worked in room reservation. And this little video is about the experiences that I had with ghosts in the Banff Springs Hotel and also what other people have said that they've experienced. Now this is all hearsay, of course, so you can believe it if you like, it's up to you. So this is pretty much the most famous story in the whole of the hotel. So it's through this hall and just at the other end, This is a story of the ghost bride. And legend has it that when this bride many years ago was about to get married, she came down the staircase right here. And there were candles everywhere along the side as of the times. And she got distracted by the candles, by the light. That's one of the stories, one of the versions. So she tripped on her wedding dress and she plummeted to her death. This area at the bottom of the staircase was actually a library back in the 20s is when this story goes back to when this occurred with the ghost bride. And they've got a bit of a plaque here and tells the whole story. They just put this in sort of recently and there's a coin there and the eyes move. But there is another part to this story that I heard when I was working here myself, which not everyone hears this story, but when they, people say that they see apparitions of the ghost bride up the staircase, but they used to see the whole full ghost bride, but now because the top part of the staircase, they actually put the roof in, they built it years ago. And so when they did that, where she fell, by putting the roof in, they actually cut her head off. They cut the ghost's head off. So unfortunately now the ghost bride, apparently some say they see her headless coming down the staircase. So this story is partly to do with elevators. It has to do a little bit with the eighth floor. Actually, a lot to do about the eighth floor. This story has to do with an elevator. It's to do with Sam the Bellman. And Sam the Bellman, legend has it, used to carry people's luggage and put it in the elevator for them. So they wouldn't even know where their luggage has gone. There's so many different versions of this guy where he turns up, the elevator doors open, there he is in there. And people are like, oh, he's got an old uniform on. There's more stories too. You know, some, sometimes I've heard situations of some guests that have called for a bellman and the bellman have all been busy, but then someone's knocked on their door, taken their luggage, taken into the elevator and it's turned out to be Sam the Bellman because there was no Bellman that came to their door after all. So it's pretty creepy. So we're going to go up to the eighth floor because eighth floor is quite well known here in this hotel. We're at the eighth. So this story is about a family in one of the rooms on the eighth floor. Legend has it anyway. Basically the whole family was murdered inside that room, apparently by the father, I believe. And also I heard that the movie The Shining had some sort of relationship to what happened in this particular room. So what's happened up here on, the, on this floor is that they've actually blocked off that room completely. So. If anyone's thinking about staying at this hotel, don't worry, because they've blocked it off. Um, I don't even know which one it is, but it is a bit creepy just thinking about it. But it's turn right outside the elevator, eighth floor. It's along here somewhere. So 
So this is my favorite part of the whole hotel coming up. And my favorite staircase, by the way, I love the staircase. Love a good staircase. So we're coming up to Mount Stephen Hall, a medieval themed hall. Lots of weddings, lots of events used to occur here. Over here. So this story is something that I personally experienced myself. I felt a little something anyway. When I worked back in room reservations, I used to have to go and check out rooms. And uh, when I got to this one, there was a housekeeper inside and she actually, I was just walking past and she, I just went in and she kind of said, oh, hello. And I told her I was a room reservations, just wanted to look at the junior suite. And she said, sure, come in. She said, actually, I'm the only one that really cleans this because all the other housekeepers get a bit freaked out from this room because there's stories of them seeing apparitions, ghosts. And I'm like, why? And she said, well, the father, there was a father here that um, brought his daughter and the way the layout of the room is, is the beds on the bottom. There's a staircase and at the top there's a bath, um, like a hot tub. And he drowned his young daughter in the hot tub and so she died. And so now guests have said that they've seen reflections in the mirror behind the bed um, showing them with a, a child next to them in bed with them. So, and not only that, but also at the top of the stairs as well uh, is a little mirror where the bathroom is, like where the basin is. And so they've seen reflections of a little child's face as well. So it just freaked me out because when I went in the room, when she told me this, maybe because she told me, maybe that's why. And maybe my voice is kind of shaking because it's kind of freaking me out a bit. But I felt kind of cold. Um, like it just, it just, it just felt really strange. And there's like no windows in this suite. Um, there's like a tiny window from what I remember. Um, and I've talked to other people and they've heard similar stories too, but this one, not many people know about this, but yeah, it, it kind of freaked me out. <laughs> so this room that I was describing uh, looks a lot like this room. Got the big bed and behind the bed frame though, just imagine there was a big mirror there and that's, you know, where some, some guests have said allegedly that they've seen a vision of a child, a, a, a girl, a little girl. So a bit creepy, I think. I believe it's a true story that the murder happened, but the allegedly bit is about the ghost being seen, the girl being seen in the room. Thank you for watching. And please remember that these are accounts of people that stayed here, staff that worked here, including myself. And they are just accounts. So it's up to you whether you believe them or not. Um, but hey, why not? <laughs>